Have we ever stopped to ponder, what exactly is the state of Zimbabwe's electoral process? It's a question that demands attention, especially in light of recent events. Welcome to this informative session, where we aim to dissect and scrutinize the current state of elections in Zimbabwe. Our focus, however, isn't just on Zimbabwe, but on the Southern African Development Community, or SADIC, and its role in upholding democratic principles in its member countries. In recent years, the electoral processes in many African nations, including Zimbabwe, have been marred by allegations of irregularities, voter suppression, and fraud. These allegations, while serious, aren't isolated events, but part of a broader pattern of electoral malpress that threatens the very essence of democracy. Take, for instance, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, or DRC. The DRC's 2023 election was anything but smooth, with President Felix Shisekedi's victory shrouded in controversy over allegations of electoral malpractice. This led to a crisis of legitimacy, echoing similar concerns raised in Zimbabwe, where President Emerson Nangagwa's disputed victories in the 2018 and 2023 elections have sparked concerns about the integrity of the electoral process. The common thread linking these incidents is the SEDC, an organization criticized for failing to uphold electoral standards and ensure free and fair elections in its member countries. Observers have pointed out that the SEC's lack of action in the face of these controversies sends a worrying message about the state of democracy in the region. The situation in Mauritius adds another layer to this complex issue. Protests have erupted in the wake of allegations of electoral fraud and government corruption, and the government's response has been less than ideal. The deployment of militarized police, the suppression of dissent, and restrictions on the media raise serious concerns about civil rights violations. The question then arises, what measures should the sea take to uphold democratic principles and ensure free and fair elections in its member countries? The answer isn't simple, but it's clear that the SADC must prioritize transparent electoral processes and take punitive measures against countries that fail to adhere to democratic principles. In conclusion, the state of elections in Zimbabwe and other African nations is a complex issue that requires urgent attention and action. The SADC, as an influential regional organization, has a responsibility to uphold democratic principles and ensure free and fair elections in its member countries. The controversies surrounding recent elections highlight the urgent need for transparency, accountability, and respect for democratic principles. The key points to take away from this discussion are the allegations of electoral malpractice in Zimbabwe and other SAD member countries, the role of the SADC in upholding democratic principles, and the urgent need for transparent electoral processes. It is crucial for the future of democracy in the region that these issues are addressed promptly and effectively.